from the Tribune News Network. This is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Tuesday's top story is Health Minister Wells and the government under pressure from the Nurses Union over promised overtime pay related to the COVID-19 pandemic. The minister has promised that the nurses will be paid, but so far nothing has happened, and they have apparently had enough. A number of them showing up at the Ministry of Health yesterday to try and get some answers from officials there on the situation including Union President Amantia Williams. You've written the budget. You said that there were $77.5 million allocated for COVID. Where have it gone to? Who comes first? Who is the priority? Is the healthcare workers right now, right? Not no new car, not no new road. Union officials say the response they received yesterday was not satisfactory. They could be back there again today to demand more answers. Nurses say they've worked long hours dealing with the corona situation since March, and right now they're feeling disrespected. There's another labor issue developing, this one at Customs and Immigration, where the unions have filed a trade dispute over the appointment of a new assistant director at Immigration. The new appointee is Stuart Curtis, a former police officer, and union officials are upset that the selection did not come from within the Immigration Department. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Police officials now facing questions from relatives of the man officers shot and killed here in the Capitol over the weekend. He's been identified by them as Rico Mackey, and his sister is telling the media that officers did not have a reason to shoot him. Police say he failed to obey a stop order and tried to run officers over with his vehicle. Latest murders under investigation by police, number 11 for the year. A man shot and killed on DeVoe Street here in the Capitol yesterday. Police in the early stages of that investigation. Latest corona numbers released by health officials. 16 cases around the country for Sunday, half of them in the Capitol. Four other islands reported confirmed cases. 13 persons in hospital, no one in the ICU, no other death has been reported. Another court loss for former Life at Key resident Peter Nygaard. The appeals court refusing his application to appeal his contempt of court conviction. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management, back end of that frontal system. Partly cloudy, windy, and cool today. Highs from the low 60s to mid-70s. 61 at Freeport, 68 in the capital, 76 at Matthew Town. Marine advisories in place. Winds up to 30 knots at times. The sea's rough. The next tide is a high around 11 this morning. Next low about 6 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight. Decreasing winds. Lows from the upper 50s to mid 60s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call insurance management. They wish everyone a safe and prosperous 2021. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. They offer a wide range of insurance products. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than insurance management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. The Tribune has reopened to the public. So if you're selling a car, truck, boat, or computer, call us today on 502-2398. Advertising in the Tribune's classified trader works. So call us on 502-2398 or email classifieds at tribunemedia.net for your quote. And let us help you get cash in your pocket. There are great deals to be had every day. So get your copy of the classified trader every Monday through Friday. Only in the Tribune, the people's paper. Biggest and and best. Tuesday's world news headlines, that major winter storm impacting the northeast U.S. in a big way. It's turned into a slow-moving nor'easter, dumping heavy snow, and it's causing major travel issues for the big cities on the east coast. More than a thousand flights have been canceled in the area, and a state of emergency has been declared because of the weather situation. Major issues for Japan over the spread of the coronavirus there. That country now planning to extend its emergency orders until the end of March to try and cope. We're keeping an eye on the situation in Myanmar where the army has taken over following a coup. The U.S. is threatening to take action if the situation is not reversed. Tribune's gas tracker prices, Shell 409, Rubus 401, SO $4.02 per gallon here in the capital. Now your sports notes, brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section, a pro football opportunity for Marvin Saunders, but it's going to be in Europe He's heading for Spain. Read about it in the Tribune Sports. 
born DeAndre Ayton, who continues his big-time play for the Suns in the NBA. Another double-double and a win over Dallas. Yet the latest on top the Hayman Pro Baseball players, Jazz Chisholm and Christian Robinson, and more on the upcoming Super Bowl game. More previews. The countdown to Sunday continues. For all of your sports details, check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news spray. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online all day at Tribune242.com.